not, not. This got to be the best walkout to the ring ever. Tyson Fury walking through the halls. Side by side, you got legend after legend. Oscar De La Hoya, Sugar Ray, Riddick Bowe, Van de Holyfield, Lennox Lewis. He's giving them that as he walked past a legend after a legend. This is truly passing of the guard, passing the torch to the Gypsy King. This is epic, people. This is epic. Now, 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 he a genius, man. I'm telling you, man. Tyson Fury is a genius, man. Listen, man. Straight out the gate, front foot dominant. Landed an overhand right, went to the body. He's being very composed, man. I'm telling you, he's front foot dominant, but not being overly aggressive. Keeping the distance, controlling the range, keeping the jab popping to the body, to the glove, to the shoulders, moving and shaking, making your boy Francis think every time you did, he think he want to do something. The feints from Tyson Fury is you know, taking him off his game, man. This is beautiful, man. This is beautiful boxing. But I like what Francis is doing, man. Going to the body. He got Tyson Fury on the ropes, guys. He landed something clean. He landed something clean. Tyson Fury holding people. Listen, man. Francis got a puncher's chance. Francis got good legs. I think if he go to the body a little bit more early in the fight, he holding again, man. I'm telling you, man. Fury got hurt by that shot by your boy Francis. Yo, re rewind the tape. Re re rewind the tape. <laughs> he dropped him. He dropped him. I told you, cocksuckers, you better rock with your boy CBT, man. I told you my boy Francis was going to shock the world. I told you, man, landed over the top. You dig what I'm saying? On the temple. Put him on his ass. Put him on his ass. Listen, man. Tyson Fury going to get up, man. Yeah, he getting up now, man. Listen, did you see the breath Tyson Fury took when he was Getting up off the canvas, man. Jesus, I told you, dude, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it looks like your boy chance. Tyson Fury got his wits about him, man. We going into the fifth round, people. Tyson Fury shoots the jab, but he holds immediately. Good God, every time Francis lands something on the shoulder, on the hips, Fury do a little twerking. He doing a little bit of twerking, a little bit of Deontay Sloppy. You dig me? That power, man. He feel it, man, on the shoulders, on his hips. Tyson Fury using the jab, trying to keep the distance, but trying to keep up. Oh, good one, two, three, by your boy. Boy, Tyson Fury, but Fury needs to land something clean. He needs to land something hard, thudding to push your boy back in his place. Like my boy Terrence Crawford took his belt off against your boy, the weight bully Spence. But I like what Francis is doing, man. He's not backing down. You know, he's now on the back foot running away. But I love the fact that, you know, Tyson Fury is still using feints and different movements. But for me, it hasn't really took Francis out of his game. You know, for most fighters, it would take them out of their game, you know, make them feel a certain way, not knowing when to shoot a jab, shoot a hook, because Tyson Fury is fainting and he's long. He can reach you before you even think. But what I told you before, Francis is not a traditional boxer. Everything that he do is not traditional. And this is why he has the edge, people. You don't know what he's going to do and what he's going to do it. Why is he not going for the feints? It's because he's not a traditional boxer. Traditionally, that's what we do. Good body shot by Francis. Good one, two by Fury. Good God.